this is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. Of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. Subscribe, like, and share. A book by Lee Livinger, A History of the Jews in the United States. We are now interested to know that Columbus believed that the part of Asia where he was to go was the same as the land of Azareth, which is mentioned in the fourth book of Ezra in the Apocrypha, and that therefore he expected to find there the ten lost tribes of Israel. This queer idea of fourth Ezra was taken from the book of Deuteronomy, where the Jews are told that they will be driven to another land, Erez-Hareth, Columbus, like many people, believed in all these ancient prophecies and expected this one to be fulfilled by his own voyage. Page 31. Christo Colombo. Was Christopher Columbus Jewish? And if he was, did Christopher Columbus have a secret mission? Christoforo Colombo, born 1451 and died in 1506. An Italian mariner known to the Spaniards as Cristobal Colon came from a family of Spanish Jews settled in Genoa. According to his contemporary biographer, Salvador de Madarenga, who believes the Colons converted to Christianity during the Spanish persecutions in the 14th century. Around 1479, Columbus married a Portuguese noblewoman of Marano descent. Salvador de Madarenga argues that Columbus was himself a converso and thus received support from his co-religionists in high place. Columbus map drawn in 1490 in the Lisbon workshop of Bartolomeo and Christopher Columbus. Jewish contributions to Columbus 1492 voyage was more than just financial. Jewish cartographers, including the Cresquez family of Majorca, had long been esteemed for their skill and knowledge. These map Jews were respected 
as the compass Jews responsible for developing the instruments and astronomical knowledge Spain needed to support its growing sea power. There can be no doubt that without the aid of these Jews who help persuade the royal couple to sponsor the expedition, who gave financial aid and who provided nautical documents, Columbus' voyage would never have taken place. A list of some of Columbus' sponsors. Louis D. Santac L. Juan Cabrero. Gabriel Sanchez, treasurer of Aragon. Alonso D. La Caballera. The Marsonis D. Moya. Louise D. Santa L. died 1498, was a third generation converso in Spain during the late 15th century. Santa L. worked as a scribano de ration to King Ferdinand II and Queen Isabella I of Spain which left him in charge of the royal finance. Santagel played an instrumental role in Christopher Columbus' voyage in 1492, for he managed to convince the Catholic monarchs to fund Columbus' expedition and provided a large sum of the money himself. Spanish Inquisition. While the Spanish Inquisition targeted and persecuted Jews, including conversos believed to be practicing Judaism privately, Sentak El and his immediate family were protected from the persecution. However, one of his relatives were burned at the stake in Saragossa. On May 30th, 1497, Ferdinand II issued a royal decree that exempted Santagel, his family, and his future successors from the Inquisition. Despite this protection and high status, Santagel was believed to have wanted to help Jews escape their persecution by funding Columbus' journey, which would potentially offer a safe place for them to reside. After his expeditions, Columbus was granted the island of Jamaica, which became a place of refuge for many Sephardi Jews after the expulsion from Spain and Portugal. Santa Gel, reeling from the devastation wrecked upon his family by the long arm of the Inquisition, was animated by personal motives to become involved in the voyage. Perhaps he shared the dream of many contemporaries that Columbus might find a kingdom of the lost tribes, a possible asylum for Jews far from the reaches of the Inquisition. So 
Certainly, no Jew, least of all a converso, who had brush with the dreaded Inquisition, felt secure. Reports of distant kingdoms of the lost tribes of Israel fired the imagination of thousands at this time. Columbus' dependence upon conversos and Jews for the initial commission to sell is a matter of record. These frightened courtiers had ample reason to encourage explorations in search of new kingdoms, particularly if they believed it possible that one of them could turn out to be the realm of the lost tribes. Wikipedia article, 10 Lost Tribes. The 10 Lost Tribes became, along with Presta John and El Dorado, an object for exploration and contact in the age of discovery and colonialism. Next, the legend of Prester John, King of Ethiopia, 